This product claims to change the game, but is it really as impressive as it sounds? In today's video, I'll give you the full breakdown, putting it through real-world tests to see if it's truly worth your attention. At a glance, the Huawei MateBook Fold looks like a luxury statement in the world of laptops. Priced at around US$2,500, roughly the cost of a brand new Honda SH in Vietnam. It promises a premium, foldable experience paired with Huawei's signature Harmony OS, but beneath the elegant exterior lies a growing concern despite its price. The device runs on older chip technology, raising deeper questions about Huawei's current position in the global tech race. When Huawei unveiled the MateBook Fold back in May, Speculation surged that the device might be powered by the highly anticipated Kirin X90 processor. Built on a 5 nanometer process. For a company battling ongoing US sanctions, this would have signaled a major breakthrough. If true, it would suggest Huawei had overcome key technological barriers. Establishing itself as a serious contender to Western chipmakers, even under intense geopolitical pressure. These rumors gained momentum, with many hoping the X90 would mark a generational leap in Chinese semiconductor design. Analysts speculated that a 5 nanometers Huawei chip would not only close the gap with global leaders, but also redefine what China's domestic tech sector could achieve under constraint. But the illusion didn't last long. Tech Insights, a well-known Canadian hardware analysis firm, recently tore down the MateBook fold and confirmed a disappointing truth. Despite the name and speculation, the Kirin X90 inside, the device is still manufactured on SMIC's older 7 nanometers N2 node. The same level of technology Huawei used back in 2023 with the Mate 60 Pro. Essentially, this chip is a rebranded version of the Kirin 9020 found in current Huawei smartphones. Offering little in terms of true advancement, this revelation starkly contradicts recent claims made by Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei, who stated that the company's chip development was only one generation behind the United States. In reality, if Huawei remains stuck at 7 nanometers, they lag several generations behind industry leaders. Apple has already deployed 3 nanometers chips in the M3 and M4 lines. AMD, Qualcomm, and others are preparing 3 nanometers, or even 2 nanometers production over the next year. The technological divide is widening, not shrinking. The core of the issue lies with the US sanctions that have severely restricted Huawei's access to critical semiconductor tools. Dutch company ASML, which produces the advanced extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. Machines necessary for manufacturing 5 nanometers and smaller chips has been barred from selling to Chinese firms. Without EUV, Huawei's chip partner SMIC cannot move forward. The result is stagnation in chip design, even as the rest of the world accelerates. According to U.S. commerce officials, these restrictions are working. Deputy Secretary Jeffrey Kessler recently noted that Huawei's production of advanced chips like the AI-focused Ascend series will be capped at just 200,000 units in 2025, reflecting the severe constraints on their supply chain. In response, Ren Zhengfei remains publicly optimistic. He has emphasized alternative methods, like chip stacking to achieve comparable results with older nodes, while chip stacking and multi-die. Designs can extend performance temporarily, they are not a substitute for foundational manufacturing progress. At best, such workarounds delay the impact of technological lag. They do not solve it. Still, the MateBook Fold is not without merit. Its foldable design is innovative, and its software ecosystem, built around Harmony OS is a testament to Huawei's efforts to break free from Western dependence. The device also signals Huawei's ambition to stay in the premium hardware game even without access to cutting-edge chips. But for consumers, the trade-off is clear. Despite its sleek looks and unique form factor, the MateBook Fold relies on aging hardware, with a price tag that rivals high-end ultrabooks and flagships from Apple or Samsung. Its performance may not justify the investment. This is especially true for power users, expecting top-tier processing capabilities for creative work, development, or gaming. Ultimately, the MateBook Fold represents more than just a device. It's a symbol of the crossroads Huawei now faces. Design innovation is still alive, but without access to next-gen semiconductor tools, performance will remain limited. Until that bottleneck is resolved, Huawei's boldest products may continue to look futuristic, while quietly running on yesterday's technology.